John Mahoney. I'm the uh, state representative for the 13th Worcester District, which is Worcester State University is dead center of. I also uh, represent the Tatnick neighborhood, west side of Worcester, uh, Indian Hill District. So basically everything on um, this side of Park Avenue. So um, in each uh, rep district is roughly 40,000 residents. So that's my little corner of the world and in our city. Well, the number one thing a legislator, what we do is we review, uh, modify, and, and pass laws. Uh, so on the modification would be uh, existing laws. Sometimes we find that uh, in the passage of time, they have to be modified, uh, changes have to be made, Might, maybe some unintended consequences uh, have occurred or come up uh, since the law was, was put in. The state uh, is well over 200 years old, and uh, the Commonwealth has been here since 1630, so there might be a lot of old laws in the books that have to be uh, changed or updated. And um, you know, the biggest law we passed every year is, is the budget. So um, this year we had a $40 billion budget. There's a lot of input, a lot of time spent on that. So that makes up the bulk of our time uh, legislating. Well, education. Uh, you know, I've got, uh, my wife Erin and I have uh, four children, all Worcester Public School uh, students. We're very proud of that. Uh, my wife and I are both uh, products of Worcester Public Schools. I'm a Burn Code High graduate. My wife graduated from South High. Worcester is an urban school district, so we have a lot more needs than uh, some of the suburban uh, places have. Funding, you know, proper funding for teachers, uh, Chapter 70 money that comes back to the city of Worcester. It's all very important. You can see right here at Worcester State University, um, since, since I began in, in 2010, we've been able to get the, the new dining hall and, and uh, the residence hall. That's brand new, the wellness center. Doherty High School, we've got that on the list at the School Building Authority, so uh, they're in um, the mechanizations now to uh, plan of uh, what's the next step there, whether they're going to replace or renovate. And um, South High School, it's not in my district, but we've got that uh, uh, queued up too. This fall, we're going to have a brand new Nelson Place School. So for the kids of that uh, neighborhood in Worcester, um, they're going to go from one of the oldest, uh, you know, shabbiest schools to a, a brand new place of learning. Uh, that's something that I and my um, you know, city colleagues in, in Boston uh, strongly advocate for. Uh, I'm a lifelong city guy. Uh, I grew up in the Greendale section of Worcester. Uh, went to uh, Greendale Elementary School, Burncoat Junior High and Senior High. I've dated myself now. It's middle school and, and in the high school. Um, I uh, graduated in 1982 from Burncoat. Uh, I went on to Bryant College. I attended there for a couple of years and then got into the, uh, the business world. I came back and worked for a Fortune 50 company in my 20s. And um, by the time I was in my late 20s, I achieved the dream of having my own uh, business. I owned and operated Mahoney's Pub in Worcester um, over on Park Avenue. I was there for 16 years. And uh, along the way, I got married to my wife, Erin. And, um, you know, like I said, we had uh, lucky enough to have four children that we really enjoy always followed politics, but more on a national level. And then the older I got, um, and in the more, you know, with, between um, owning a business and operating a business and kids in school, I started to pay a little bit more attention to the local, local side of things. And, uh, and, and that's how it, it all kind of, you know, came about, getting interested in uh, local politics. When I was younger, my, you know, my dad knew Congressman Early and everybody in, in Worcester knew uh, uh, Joe Early. And um, I'd see him around uh, time to time. But I always thought that was, uh, you know, the purview of someone who was older or establishment, you know, like, you know, I, how could I, you know, do what these people do? And, um, and once again, you know, as I get a little bit older and um, started paying a little bit more attention to the, to the local stuff, uh, I met Tim Murray one day at, uh, you know, at uh, my place of business and he was, coming through on a, on a mayo walk, I think. And, uh, you know, I could see that, you know, there's someone who was really focused in on, on the city, the betterment of the city, and uh, he had a lot of positive energy. I, I really like that, and I could see that, uh, you know, there are some um, really good people who are trying to, to make Worcester. It's always been a great place, but, you know, let's face it, we can always, we can always do better and, and strive to uh, do more. So, you know, so from going from an older person I knew to someone who was younger, and then I, then I could see that, oh, you know, maybe there's, uh, there, there is an opportunity for everybody to get involved in politics locally.
some of the transgender uh, accommodations, I was, you know, I was, I was a strong supporter, but you'd get a lot of nasty uh, emails and things like that, so that can be disconcerting. But uh, you know, I'd respectfully, uh, you know, answer them all, and or return the phone calls and say, this is this is why I believe what I believe, and um, you know, if that's not uh, the way uh, you feel about it, uh, you know, we respectfully uh, disagree. Some of the uh, brick and mortar things, you know, seeing a new school being built that I was uh, in, in the, you know, the ground, uh, ground floor on, that's great. We've got a lot of road projects that came through that make it, you know, a little bit easier and more convenient to get around the city. So um, the people side is number one. People who come in in there in uh, uh, panic mode or crisis mode. And when we can really get to yes and help them get where they want to be and they say, John, you know, uh, you and your staff were great. Thank you. It all worked out well. That's very gratifying. I think it has to be um, the adults in the room really have to get involved first. Um, I think that we have to, like with my own kids, try and get them in this day of digital media um, to take a look at a newspaper. I always tell the kids, especially when I talk to, to school groups, that, you know, this is yours. I mean, you know, whether I'm in a library or in a school, uh, if they come to the state house, I always let them know that this belongs to all of us. It's yours, you know, and, and you know, when I was a kid, someone passed this to us. It's vitally important for people to, to pay attention to, their, to the local scene because you have a lot more control uh, locally uh, than you do nationally, right? So you know, every four years you can vote for president. It seems everybody wants to come out and vote for president, which is great, but um, it's important to pay attention to the state and city stuff too. You can uh, call the State House directly, uh, and you can also reach me uh, via email anytime, and we always get right back to you.